Makerere University is celebrating 100 years of excellent service to humanity. Over those 100 years, a lot of people have contributed greatly to making Makerere the great university that it is now, including people making sacrifices for land on which the university was built. And we are indebted to these people. Makerere has produced great statesmen, great people in all trades who have moved not just Uganda, but the entire East African and Central African region and the entire continent. We are now celebrating those achievements and we are looking back and saying, can we leverage those successes to build even more for the future? As we celebrate 100 years, we are calling upon all our stakeholders, particularly our alumni, so that we can more meaningfully contribute to transforming our society. Please, you can follow us on our website, www.mag.ac.ug, and there are special pages there dedicated to 100 years celebration. So, is in our midst, and we are starting our program now. If you are gifted with the gift of eyesight like myself, when you look to your left, to the far left, you will see some activity. At this moment, we're witnessing the arrival of His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and also former Chancellor of this very great institution, who is arriving and unveiling the 100 years celebrations monument that is erected around the School of Social Sciences and Humanities here at Makerere University. And after unveiling it, we shall witness his grand arrival at the venue where uh, the event is going to take place. There are so many dignitaries here, right from uh, former leaders of the university, former vice chancellors, former chancellors, former chairs to the council of the universities, and other dignitaries from other areas. Uh, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugalu is here. I've seen uh, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament here. I've seen commanders of the uh, armed forces in Uganda who are already here and so many other dignitaries that are here to witness uh, the celebrations of Makerere University as the great institution marks a hundred years of existence. Makere was established in 1922 and as a humble technical school, which is a hundred years today. Makere University is one of the oldest and the most prestigious English universities in Africa. In January of that year, 1922, the school, which was later renamed Uganda Technical College, opened its doors to 14 day students who began studying carpentry, building and mechanics and it's a hundred years today. There is His Excellency General Yuri Kakuta Museveni, the President of Uganda and also one of the former chancellors of the university clad in the attire on arrival to celebrate their hundred years. We thank you so much for watching and we shall have you. I also see the Minister for Higher Education, Dr. John Chrysostom Moyingo, uh, the Chancellor, Professor Ezra Suruma, and other dignitaries, plus the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, who are part of the celebrations. It's going to be a big event here at Makere, and UBC TV should be your home today. You'll have the whole event live on your TV. We are a big team here to give you whatever will happen as Makere marks her 100 years. Yes, like I was saying, Makere was started as a technical institute, and it grew into the ranks to now the biggest university in the country. Today we have over 20 of them, actually over 30 of them, but Makere still remains at the top, at the epitome of higher education in the country. With the arrival of the president, we're going to have the anthems, prayer, and the event will officially begin. We thank you so much for tuning in, and let's see how the event begins. Keep tuned to UBC TV, inspiring Uganda.
and all distinguished guests, let's not tire from standing. I wish to request that we remain upstand for a prayer led by Reverend Ones Masasimwe, the chaplain, St. Francis Chapel. Your Excellency, I'm standing together with uh, the chaplain of St. Augustine and the Imam of the University. And as we prepare to pray, 
allow me to request that we thank God and also congratulate ourselves that we are the chosen centenary celebrants of Makerere University as we celebrate a hundred years. The incumbent <laughs> chancellor, the vice chancellor, the imam and the chaplains who will witness the celebration over the next hundred years are not yet born. And so in that spirit of gratitude, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we lift our hearts in gratitude for the 100 years of excellent service that Makere University has offered to humanity. We thank you for the President of the Republic of Uganda and visitor of Makere University, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museven, Tibuhaburwa, and for the key distinguished dignitaries who have graced this occasion with their physical presence. We thank you, Lord, for the Right Honorable Thomas Taeba, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, for the Prime Minister Emeritus, Dr. Rahakana Rugunda, for the Ministers, President and MPs, we thank you. For the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba, Mugaru, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, and the other religious leaders, for all those elected and appointed leaders, the academia, we say thank you that you have allowed us to witness this great occasion. Almighty God, this is a time to remember the ways you have shown your loving kindness over the last 100 years. We thank you that Makere University is the alma mater of a number of post-independence African leaders and political elites including Dr. Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, Honorable Janet Kataha Museveni, and the other presidents, Milton Obote, Mwalim Julius Nyerere, Benjamin Mkapa, Mwai Kibaki, Joseph Kabila, there could be others, and the hundreds of thousands of alumni who are of a great influence among the nations. Lord God, we thank you for the men and women who laid the foundation of this institution in 1922 and whose indelible legacy continues to shine brightly. We are thankful for the current leadership, the University Council, the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the DVCs and the entire management team, the Senate, the faculty, the non-teaching staff and the students alike. And we pray for them that under your guidance, they will take Makere University from glory to glory. As it is written in 1 Corinthians 3.10, according to the grace of God given to men, like a skilled master builder, I lay the foundation and someone else is building upon it. Let each one take care, therefore, how he builds upon it. We thank you, O oh God, that the history of Makere University is good and her present is even better. And now we stand at the gate of time, at this Kairos moment of Mark at 100, when we celebrate double jubilee and also the gate of Uganda turning 60 years of independence to honor the past and honor the present, but also declare that the best is yet to come in the name of Jesus. We decree Haggai 2.9 into establishment that the glory of the latter house, Makere University, shall be greater than the glory of the former one. In research, innovation, relevance to the community, in culture, where strikes, violence, sexual harassment, and impunity will be eclipsed by discipline and integrity. May we see a magnificent, iconic main building come up, and may the latter glory be seen in every arena of life in Makere University and our nation Uganda. And so, King of Glory, 
as we celebrate this important day in history, we ask for the canopy of your presence over this hill. We also ask you, Lord, to release upon us an atmosphere of thanksgiving and celebration to the greater glory and honor of your name. And to God, our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And all God's people said, Amen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد In the name of Allah the most merciful the ever merciful We humble ourselves before you we bow our heads with humility towards you, seeking your mercy and forgiveness. We are grateful to you for all the favors you bestow on us, day and night, time and again. We thank you, O God, for the university council, the management, the faculty, and the teaching staff, past and present, whose legacy continues to shine brightly under their guidance. We are thankful for His Excellency, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, for gracing this occasion with his physical presence at Makerere University, as Makerere University celebrates 100 years of excellent service. Almighty God, we stand at the gate of this celebration time to proclaim that the glory of Makerere University in the next 100 years shall be greater than the glory of the former one. Help us to let go of the past and build foundations for a new future which begins now. Teach us how to leverage the 100 years of excellence in building a transformed society. Sovereign God, we ask you to show the leaders of our nation and the leaders of this institution what is right and enable them to follow it and show them what is wrong and assist them to avoid it. Assist them to make correct decisions for the good of our nation and our institution. Our God, the God of all hope, bless this occasion Bless this day and days to come. Bless this institution and bless our nation. Grant us good in this world and hereafter. O oh Allah, accept our prayers. Amen. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, you may wish to take your seats. Your Excellency, as you join the rest of the incredible humanity in celebrating 100 years of Makere, and like you heard the Reverend Onesimus say, and he was very specific in mentioning those he mentioned who are the Vice Chancellor and a few others for the next 100 years, he said they are not yet born. But he was deliberate not to mention about you, Your Excellency, because I think he has a feeling you will be alive and still the president at the next 100 years celebration. I think he also did not mention about the master of ceremony, aware that by then technology would be such that wherever I would be, I will in fact be the master of ceremony at the next 100 years. That said by way of introduction, Your Excellency, my name is Simon Cassiati. This is what I do for a living. I talk. And I started talking, not at Makere University, but at home like many of you. I only came to polish it up when I came to this university, like all of you. Your Excellency, before you is a distinguished group of dignitaries who we shall be introducing but allow me in a special way, relating with your own personal legacy, introduce one person to you in a special way. When you took power in January 1986 as the President of the Republic, this university had a president. I think in his wisdom at that time he thought 
the two of you were too big to fit in one country. So upon you becoming the president of the republic, he left this country and abdicated his throne as president of Makere University. But today, as we celebrate 100 years, His Excellency George Okurapa is with us in the house. George, please stand up. He flew in yesterday from his hideout in Toronto, Canada, fully assured of his security of tenure and your great friendships, Your Excellency. So he's here to join us. You may sit, George. George has been in exile for 36 years. So these 100, day, these 100 year celebrations may change the course of history. I have a feeling he got a one-way ticket back to Uganda. Back, uh, one-way ticket back to Uganda, he's not returning. Your Excellency, we have a very short program, but part of the celebration is for some people among us to tell you what life was like for them at Makere University. So with your indulgence, you'll allow me to invite some four people who will together use four minutes to share their Makere University story with us. Each one of you takes a minute. And in no particular order, but the way we introduce them, you recognize we are going in ascending order of age. It may not look on how they look, but that's how life has treated them. So the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Taewa, right Honorable Taewa, please come forward. As you make your way here, Nora Rule, in your big capacity, you also happen to be the daughter of the first principal of this university, who was also a former head of state. You also step forward. I would invite others after uh, Right Honorable Taiba makes his remarks. Your Excellency, the President, the Chancellor, and invited guests. I came to Makere in 2001. My confession about Makere is that Makere brought me to Kampara. Because that was my first time to step in Kampara. I grew up in my village in Mitoma. If we had a university, there was no reason for my parents to bring me here. I studied from primary one up to senior four and that's all we had in Mitoma. And then I was taken to Bushenyi after I came to Kampara. Now, in 2001, when I was coming, I had my metallic case and my 450,000 school fees, which we kept in three layers of shorts because you had to keep it very safely. When I reached in the bus park, I got confused because the motor, I saw very many motor vehicles because in the Viterico we had only one car at that time. So what I decided to do, because it was late in the evening, I said these people might take my fees. I was told Kampara is very sharp. I went in the bus park, but we used to hear stories that in Kampara when you get confused, you got a police post. So I went to police, I reported myself that I'm lost. They kept me until morning when they gave me a policeman to escort me to Makerere and I pay my school fees. I want to thank you, Your Excellency, because if you had not looked after Makerere and taken on Makerere, I wouldn't be in Kampara and I would never have met you. I would be in Ibiteriko, because at that time, most of my OBs and OGs, I can tell you, I don't want to go into that story. It's a deep one. I'm happy I'm here, and I'm one of the testimonies of this government that you have created opportunities for people who you had never heard of, who had no relative in government, who had no any contact in government, and you have given them opportunity to serve in positions of high responsibility in this country of excellence. I want to thank you for that, and forever and ever, I'll be grateful to Makere, Your Excellency, and the NRM government. I thank you.
Your Excellency, foreign dignitaries, guests, students, academics, all protocol observed. I'm not here to make a very complicated speech. Mine is from a personal note. Five decades ago, please don't calculate my age, I lived on Macaria Hill when it was less developed at uh, the residence which is up on the road, on the little road called The Edge. And my father's office was in the main building. Obviously I was very young, wasn't very clear on what my environment was, but even at that age I looked up to the possibility of being a student at Makere. Of course my trajectory in life changed. I didn't manage to get my education here, although I wanted to. But my contribution, I suppose, to education was, occasionally I used to turn up at his office and book myself an appointment. Of course, I was this high, and I say, um, I need to, 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 to have an appointment. And my appointment just consisted of saying, hi, Dad, give him a hug and go away. Five decades later, I'm back home, the university has totally changed, but in my years away, what I was very proud of is I would encounter other Africans that would say, whenever they heard I was from Uganda, they'd say, oh, I went to Makere and I've heard about your university. So actually, our university has a reputation beyond our borders, which makes me feel very proud. Another thing that makes me feel very proud is that when it started, it was rather like a very small community here. There weren't very many students and there weren't that many courses. But obviously, over five decades, the university has evolved and it's increased all its um, projects and it's uh, noted internationally for its research and there's a lot more going on in the university. I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak to everybody today, and thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, Nora, and thank you, Right Honorable Taewa. I am inviting two other gentlemen, Kelvin Musana, who lived at Macquarie University as well and is now an executive director at Standard Chartered Bank. I also have the pleasure to invite Don Wanyama, the managing director at the Vision Group. And as they make their way here to share their Makere story, here is a little housekeeping rule. The pandemic of COVID is not away from us. A humble request that we all wear our masks wherever you are. The exception for that rule is myself, the master of ceremony, for articulation and good looks. <laughs> the other exception is His Excellency the President, I know it's a disease, but it also has respect for elders, so you may wish to stay without a mask. Your Excellency the President, the Chancellor, and other dignitaries who are here, may I simply say, all protocols observed. I come here representing the board, management, and staff of Standard Chartered Bank. I am not a student. However, I have been associated through the teams you work with, and even in my own country, through people who have come through Makerere University and have told us very many great stories about this wonderful university. So on behalf of the board, I just come to say congratulations for 100 years. Congratulations for all the hundreds of thousands of students, graduates who passed through this university. Thank you very much for nurturing them. A large number of them in our organization are from this university. As Standard Chartered Bank, we as well just celebrated about 110 years in Uganda, and we totally appreciate the tenacity, we appreciate the foresightedness and the sacrifice which goes into attaining such a milestone. So thank you very much and congratulations.
Your Excellency the President, uh, all guests present, protocol observed. It's a pleasure to be here today. Your Excellency, I came to Macquarie University in 2003, and like my brother, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, it offered me my first occasion to make my long journey from up country to Kampala. I think if I had not been admitted here, I would also have stayed in Mbale for the rest of my life. I was a resident of Mitchell Hall, and Your Excellency, for us, we call ourselves the Gallant Rats. So a Gallant Rats Oye, a Mitchell Oye, not Z. <laughs> Your Excellency, however, uh, speaking on behalf of the Vision Group, I want to express our greatest pleasure being here today on this significant occasion as Makere University celebrates 100 years of existence. The Vision Group, as the biggest and most professional media house in Uganda, takes great pride in partnering and associating with Uganda's premier and leading education institution on this momentous occasion. As a media house, Your Excellency, we committed over 300 million shillings in support towards these celebrations, including printing the beautiful informative magazine whose copy I'm sure every guest has gotten this morning. I want to state that we shall do even more together with Makere University as we begin the journey of the next 100 years and as we build for the future. Again, congratulations Makere University. E Makere Oye. A rat's oil. Thank you. Thank you, Don. I hope, uh, I, I believe that these four incredible people deserve a bigger round of applause. Your Excellency, when you took over as president in 1986, it would have been very hard pressed to look in the ranks of the army then and find if there was an alumni of Makere University. But many years down the road since you became president, Your Excellency, together with the incredible men with whom you marched to power, we have thousands of Uganda People's Defense Forces, high and low in rank, who have graduated from Makere University over the years. The message from them, Your Excellency, is to tell you as their commander in chief, that NRM created an, an, enabling, an enabling environment to have an army that's educated, professional, pro-people, and with these 100 years of celebration, they are happy to be here in their 100 number to join you, and I wish that they stand up and wave and salute you. If you count them, there are 100 of them to mark 100 years of Makere University. Your Excellency, as Don Wanyama was arriving at Makere University and by extension into Kampala, I was exiting this university for the first time from my undergraduate degree. I had been enrolled here to pursue a degree in veterinary medicine. But considering that I love my meat and it is not professional for someone to eat their patients, I chose not to study veterinary medicine and instead did another incredible science called social sciences. I am here. I've since been back here to study two other degrees. So I have three degrees from Makere University and I have now stopped reading. I wouldn't even read a number plate of a car because I think I've read enough from Makere University. <laughs> Your Excellency, Ladies and gentlemen, having heard testimonies of those who've been here, I wish to invite our host, the incredible Vice Chancellor of this university, who is none other than Professor Barnabas Nawangwe. From the way he's dressed and the masking protocols and everything, you may not be able to recognize the man from the one you always know. But the one who is coming here, I can testify, is actually Professor Barnabas Nawangwe. That's him. <laughs> Please welcome us, sir. Your 
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and visitor of Makere University, the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Secretary General of the NRM Party, Honorable Ministers present, and we wish to recognize the three ministers from sister countries who have honored and they will be introduced later. Members of the Judicature, the Chancellor of Makere University, Honorable Members of Parliament, the Chairperson of Council, Mrs. Magara, and your spouse, Dr. Magara, Members of the University Council, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Religious Leaders, Vice Chancellors of Partner Universities, former Chancellors, Vice Chancellors, and Chairpersons of Council of Mackay University, the DVCs who are standing with me, and members of the University Management, members of Senate and staff, CEOs of partner companies and heads of government agencies, alumni and alumni chapter leaders, the students' community, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and not forgetting my beloved wife, Susan, who is here. I welcome you to this main event, the climax of our year-long celebration of Mackay University's excellent service to Uganda and to humanity. In a special way, I welcome His Excellency, the President, and this of Mackay University, and the Honorable Ministers present. Thank you for honoring our invitation to officiate at this historic event. The celebrations were launched by you, Your Excellency, during the independence celebrations last year at Kololo. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, the story of Makere can best be described as one of thriving amidst adversity. Indeed, nobody would have ever thought that what began as a small technical school with 14 barefoot students in grass-thatched huts would evolve into one of the leading universities in the world. <clears throat> Established in 1922, a year when the Crown Lands Declaration Ordinance came into force, the colonial government had to strike a delicate balance between enacting major land legislation and staying within the blueprint developed in the 1900 agreement. The 1900 agreement resulted in the distribution of land in Uganda between some of the previous occupants of the land, the Kavaka, the three main religious political factions of the day, i.e. the Anglican Church, the Catholic Church, and the Muslim faith, and select collaborators who facilitated the process of colonial rule in the protectorate. Although the colonial government had managed to secure the initial piece of land in 1922, it became increasingly clear as plans to transform Makere into a center for higher education in East Africa gained momentum that more land would be needed to expand what had by now become a college. The requests for land to expand Makere were quickly opposed, starting from as early as 1938. This was the status quo until 1945, when the objective of Martin Luther and Sevira returned to serve as Katikiro for a second term of the Uganda Kingdom. After he did debate in the Rukiko, he eventually carried the day, and on 4th September 1945, he signed a law authorizing Makerere's acquisition of land. And Unfortunately, he was assassinated the next day, on 5th September 1945, on the steps of Namirembe Cathedral. Your Excellency, Makerere owes its present-day existence to the selfless acts of men like Oweketiva Martin Luther Nsivira, who despite grave danger made decisions that transcended immediate needs of their time. 
We were therefore privileged to hold a public lecture in his honor as part of our celebrations of 100 years of Makere University, where his daughter, Honorable Roda Kalema, paid a moving tribute to her father. Many other people sacrificed their lives so that Makere University might thrive, including Frank Kalimozo, the first vice chancellor of Makere as an independent national university who was murdered in 1972, and Teresa Nanziri, a former warden of Africa Hall, who was murdered in 1976 during the reign of terror in Uganda. Nevertheless, despite all this martyrdom, Makere University soldiered on, wedding off the Vataka riots of the 1940s that threatened the expansion of higher education in Uganda the huge exodus of professors during Amin's reign of terror, when Makere lost more than half of her faculty, and the financial squeeze occasioned by the World Bank's structural adjustment programs. Makere rose up from each of these difficult periods to become an even better university. Indeed, Makere has been part and parcel of Uganda's and East Africa's modern history contributing the bulk of the clerks that the colonial government needed to consolidate its hold on the region. The fighters for independence, including Presidents Nyerere, Kivaki, Obote, Saidwa Mutesa, Benjamin Mukapa, and the others, as well as the bulk of the post-independence political leadership and civil service of our region. Makerere's excellence dates back to its early years, Perhaps the best illustration of the, of the excellence was made by W.D. Foster, who in his book, Makerere Medical School, 50th Anniversary, says, and I quote, it is among the best medical schools in the world. <laughs> the facilities, the patients, and the research opportunities were almost unrivaled. That spirit of excellence has never left Makerere. Instead, it has spread to all the other colleges and schools. The allocation by government of 30 billion Uganda shillings annually for research has transformed Makerere tremendously. Even if this is not enough to support the 1,000 researchers we have at Makerere, it is a good beginning and the country will surely reap dividends very soon. This research and innovation fund, coupled with the major improvements in our research infrastructure that the government has recently funded, is enabling us to conduct research at the highest international standards and to find solutions to the challenges that our country faces. We have allocated part of this funding to train the next generation of researchers at PhD level for Uganda, but a dedicated fund or dedicated loan scheme to support graduate training would make a huge difference for our country. Your Excellency, our celebration of 100 years, where we reflect on all these sacrifices and triumphs, would not have been possible without the support the government of Uganda and our partners give us. The support from the NRM government in terms of allocation of resources, collaborative engagements, and motions on the floor of parliament has been unequivocal and steadfast. Your personal words of encouragement and the challenge you have continually given us to be the change agent that will eliminate Africa's marginalization have given us the required drive to always aim higher. We sincerely appreciate Your Excellency for your visionary leadership and also the First Lady and the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports for her counsel that has encouraged and motivated us on this journey of ensuring impactful service to our country and to humanity. On 20th September, we were privileged and honored to be hosted at Parliament as the House passed a motion to collectively and unanimously honor Makerere for its contribution to the economic and social development 
and the transformation of Uganda. We are eternally indebted to the Parliament of Uganda for that recognition. And we are proud that our own, the Deputy Speaker, was chairing that session. Your Excellency, we thank you for your directive to the Ministry of Finance to provide funds to complete the construction of a perimeter wall along the university. I am delighted to inform you that the funds were provided and the National Enterprise Corporation is constructing the wall. Finally, the Makerere anthem that mentions the walls around me or beside me will have its full meaning because we have been saying the walls beside me, but there was no wall. Thank you very much for that, Your Excellency. The construction of our iconic main administration building has also commenced following the release of all the required money as approved by cabinet chaired by you, Your Excellency. We also hope that the Minister of Finance will fund the renovation of the students' halls of residence and the College of Medicine, as you have directed. It would not be fair to end my remarks without recognizing the enormous support Makere University has enjoyed from her local and international partners, including the parents, our development partners, partner universities and agencies, some of whom are represented here today. These partnerships have enabled Makere to be one of the most international universities globally, currently hosting students from more than 60 countries and from all the five continents. I pay tribute to the founders of this great institution and to all the original 13 districts of Uganda. Those of you who remember them, I think it was West Uganda, East Uganda, Ankole, Acholi, Lango, and my own, Vukedi, okay? And all the others, the 13 of them, each one of them contributed money to the construction of Makere University. I pay tribute to our chancellors, chairpersons of councils, former vice chancellors, and many of them are represented here. I'm sure the, my chair of council will be recognizing them, especially. Okay. Uh, the more than 400,000 living alumni spread all over the world, and the staff and students of this great institution for their enormous contribution. We look back at the achievements of the first 100 years, and we can confidently look to the next century and say, if they did it, we can do more. Our solemn promise to the government and the people of Uganda is that we are committed to the NRM government vision of transforming Uganda from a peasant society to an industrial and prosperous nation through our quality, through our quality training, research, and innovation. We are no longer an ivory tower, but a university that is embedded in the community, working for and with the people. Your Excellency, when I was inaugurated as Vice Chancellor of Mackay University on 14th September 2017, in your presence, I made a solemn promise to unlock the potential of Mackay University. On 12th August 2022, I was reappointed for my second five year term by the Chancellor on recommendation of the University Council. And I want to thank you for your endorsement of that decision, Your Excellency. I once again wish to pledge total commitment to Makerere and to ensuring that our institution remains firmly on the path of nurturing graduates and producing research and innovations that are responsive to national development priorities. I thank you, Your Excellency, and our beloved Minister of Education, as well as the Chancellor and the Chairperson and members of the University Council for the enormous support in the efforts to place Makerere on the path of a modern 21st century research-intensive university. 
It is now my singular honor to invite the Vice Chairperson of Council, Right Honorable Daniel Kidega, who is also the Chairperson of the MAC at 100 Organizing Committee, to make his remarks as we build for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, the Vice President of this, the Vice Chancellor of this great university. Your Excellency, General Yuri Museveni Kaguta, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and the visitor to this great African university. The High Honorable, the Right Honorable Thomas Tayeba, the Deputy Speaker of the National Parliament of Uganda, the Right Honorable Secretary General, of the NRM party, Mr. Richard, Honorable Richard Todom, the former Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Rokana Rogunda, the Minister of Education of this country, and the visiting ministers from our neighboring countries, ministers from this government of Uganda, members of parliament who are present here, members of the diplomatic corps, Religious leaders led by His Grace the Archbishop, who is here, thank you for coming. The Chancellor of this great university and the visiting chancellors and former chancellors of this university, my leader, the chairperson of the University Council, Madame, Madame, Madame Lona Magaranyo's husband, members of the University Council, former members of the University Councils with their leadership, the top management of this great university, led by Professor Barnabas Nawangwe, the great student leaders, current and past, our gallant students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Your Excellency, my work has been made very simple as the chair of the organizing committee of this celebration by our ABO VC. Allow me, on behalf of the organizing committee, one, to extend our deepest appreciation to you for the strategic guidance you've continued to give to this university and the nation at large. <laughs> Two, to salute your patriotic office that has greatly contributed finances to this organization that has brought us this far. I further, Mr. President, would like to thank you for committing yourself amid this busy schedule to come and celebrate with the Makerere this major celebration. We don't take it for granted. Thank you, sir. Our Minister of Education here represented, our partners, both from the public and the private sector organization. The organizing committee would like to say thank you to you for the great contribution you have made to us to make this celebration a success. In a very special way, I'd like to extend our appreciation to the leadership of this university, chairperson of council and members of council, for affording us as a committee an opportunity to put to shape this celebration. We are greatly honored. We apologize if there are any spots where we have not met your expectation. We promise to do better next time you assign us. We'd like to extend also our deep appreciation to the management of the university led by the Vice Chancellor for the great technical support you've extended to the committee that has brought us this far. In a very special way, we thank the academic and the administrative staff and the students of this Galland University that has made this celebration a success. May God bless you all. Your Excellency, the celebration of this 100 years, as the VC has already stated, started last year, and it is now one year since we have been celebrating. The following are the few highlights of activities that the organizing committee put in place. We have had several public lectures to celebrate our distinguished alumni and our outstanding leaders in Uganda and beyond. Thank you to the different colleges that has made this possible. May God reward you. Two, Your Excellency, we have taken this celebration way beyond this country. 
We have visited our partner states of the East African community because that's what this university serves. We've been to Nairobi in Kenya. We engaged with the alumni well, offering services to that nation. We have been to Kigali, Rwanda, and met thousands of our alumni who are making great contribution to humanity. We have been to Dar es Salaam, United Republic of Dar es Salaam, at our sister institution, the University of Dar es Salaam. You Excellency, the University of Dar es Salaam extends its greatest greetings and appreciation to you as the alumni for the good work you're doing in this country, in East Africa, and Africa at large. We have hosted Twitter space engagement, hosted by our prominent alumni to engage the entire network of this great university online. We have had, as mentioned by the Chancellor, a special sitting of parliament to pay tribute to Makerere at 100 years, special appreciation to the leadership of parliament, but more specifically to Right Honorable Thomas Tayeba, the Deputy Speaker, we are indebted to you. May God bless you abundantly. <laughs> Your Excellency, this day will not mark the end of our celebrations. We still have a number of activities lined up to celebrate 100 years of the university. We will be having, on the 13th and 14th of October, the Nyerere Annual Public Lecture, but this time it will be a special lecture. It will be a leadership symposium. And Your Excellency, they have extended invitation to you because this is your brainchild to engage the young East Africans and imbibe in them your deep African ideology in leadership. We intend to visit the 13 original districts of Uganda who paid or gave money to the building of this university. We will also have an exhibition in November to showcase to the entire world what this university is doing. Your Excellency, these activities, we hope it will help us to take the university to the community, to the owners, such that through research and innovation, we can contribute better to humanity. With those many words, Your Excellency, allow me to invite my colleague, the members of the organizing committee, to rise up and just wave to His Excellency the President. I beg. May I, in the same vein, invite the gallant secretariat that has put this together under the leadership of Comrade Owell to rise up and say thank you to His Excellency the President, wherever you are. These young men, Your Excellency, put this celebration in proper shape. On a voluntary basis, we are committed and so to them. With those few words, I thank you. May God bless you for good and my country. Thank you, Right Honorable Danfred Kidega, for those incredible words. And in the same latitude, thank the Vice Chancellor, Professor Barnabas Nawangwe, for those incredible words and taking us down Mary Lane to remind you of 100 years that this university celebrates today. Your Excellency, Professor Nawangwe did welcome us as the sitting landlord of where we are. But I'm also happy to inform you that Makere University is a tenant in a bigger polity. 